As often happens, while I was browsing YouTube for technical stuff, I came across an interesting thing and ended up buying that as well. And this came from a Chinese seller and it's little swabs that contain liquid. And the most interesting version for me was the alcohol disinfectant swab because I think it's isopropanol it contains and it means that you can use it for cleaning components because it's the ideal electronic solvent. But the other one, and the much more dramatic one, is the providone, povidone iodine, which is a antiseptic. Now, iodine is a broad-spectrum antibacterial solution that you can put it on cuts and it, it's the downside is it's quite a dark colour and it does stain stuff but it is a very good antiseptic it's sort of, it covers a wide range of things so it is commonly used around the world and the interesting thing about these if I open one up and this is like the main thing that I bought it because I thought it was quite clever and I wanted to see how it worked you've got the cotton bud end with the little line in it and if you snap that and then you just point it down for a few seconds. It depends. It takes a wee while. It's colder here, so it's probably going to take that a little bit longer. I could probably shake it, but there it goes. Did you see how the liquid just shot down and it sort of filled up the end here? And that is the point that you can then use it to actually apply it to a wound, uh, which is now going to stain that finger for the rest of the video, is it not? I'll just put that out of the way. So, yeah, it's clever and it works consistently. And there's no obvious means, looking at it, particularly the clear ones, of how it does that. Obviously, like when you're breaking it, you're breaking a sort of air seal and then it can go down. But what stops it flowing out? Uh, that was the bit I wanted to see because certainly these things have shipped across the world and uh, there's no sign of any leakage at all. They're absolutely clean. So how does that work? So I took one to bits, as one does. And there's, I mean, there's not really much to take to bits. Let's zoom in on this. Let's uh, focus on that to get a nice, sharp image. So what we have in here, it's a hollow plastic tube and it's sealed at one end and it's open at the other. But there's this mysterious little blob of stuff down here. And it's, it, it's really clever. There are uh, little barbs on either side of each end and they're the ones that hold the cotton in place. Uh, presumably in the machine it just spins it and then it feeds the cotton on. It'll just snatch a certain portion and wrap it around itself. But here's the thing. There's also a little uh, incision here and that's the bit that snaps. And when it snaps, this down here, I'm going to have to doodle this actually because uh, I, it's kind of hard to explain in a sense. It's not that hard to explain, but this will make it clearer. So if this is a tube, let's draw it big. And there's the open end, and there's the closed end, and we've got the liquid in here. We've got this strange, clear stuff, this little plug. And then we've got the iodine here. Iodine. So what happens when you break the seal at the top and air can get in? This stuff down here... The iodine then kind of just slowly, just a droplet, almost like a lava lamp, works its way through with the gravity and displaces this. And then once it breaks through to the other side and the weight of the iodine just pushes down, of course, you've got the cotton at the bottom and it's soaking into it. So capillary action helps as well. And it basically just sucks it all down past that. But this stuff here, this clear uh, goo, because it is kind of goo, I... Picked some out with a, a piece of soda that I had handy and put it between the fingers and rubbed it. It felt sticky and resinous. It's obviously the viscosity and the characteristics have been completely optimised for the effect of doing this. I'm trying to work out how I could show this, but uh, it's trying to see something that small because it is sub-millimetre. Might be quite tricky. Um, I don't know um, if I can zoom down in this. I should have heated one of these up at kind of... Would have probably made it go a bit faster. Let's see if I can get the uh, the cotton off the bottom. Let's bring in a. Let's bring in something I can actually use to stop this going everywhere. Uh, just give me a second. I didn't plan this. That that should not be a surprise. bit of paper towel, you know what, this might actually kind of defeat this because it might not let you see what's happening. Let's zoom down excessively. Let's actually come up here. I'll just risk, I'll, yeah, I'll just pour it all over the hands. And let's try and focus on this. 
Okay, I'm going to snap it now. Can you see it working its way through? And then suddenly it just pours through like that. That is extremely clever. There must be so much engineering just in the viscosity of that liquid. It's really quite impressive. That's more iodine all over the hands. But yeah, uh, I, I could see these being quite useful. It seems a bit of a waste. You only get to use one end of the swab. I'm not sure what you could use the other end of it for. But um, the alcohol ones are just the same. Fundamentally, just peel it off. Snap. Wait for that slight time delay, and it goes through a lot faster than alcohol, probably because it's quite heavy, and then you could clean circuit boards and stuff with it. Yeah, that's neat. I quite like that. They're not that expensive, so uh, a clever bit of design. I just wonder how long it took to actually design that and research the just getting it absolutely perfect for this effect. Very neat, very clever little device.